Good morning YouTube. Um, so it's an early start, um, very early, before five o'clock. Um, and I am up in Shropshire Hills at uh, Cardi Mill Valley, the National Trust car park. And I'm just starting a walk now. Um, I'm hoping to get up to the reservoir first, the Cardi Mill Valley Reservoir, um, have a swim and do a walk. So yeah, please do come with me. Um, it's been a while since I've shot one of these videos, a couple of years. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to get back into it and I would love you to come along with me. And all I can hear at the moment is birds and some sheep. Really is beautiful just walking up here. I mean, it's not another, not another person around. Just lovely. Very, very relaxing. The reservoir is just over the uh, the top of this hill, up these stairs. And there it is. Look how still that is. I still insist I've swam in the peaks, the lakes, swam in the sea, in mountains, and I still think that is the coldest one I've swam in. <laughs> um, so I'm just getting dried now, I'm gonna get moving, but yeah, I feel good now. So I've got changed now, I've got sorted, um, I've got straight moving, very important to get moving again. I've got my fleece on, and I've got an extra, extra fleece layer on underneath for the moment, just to make sure I, uh, I warm back up properly. Morning sheep. So back on the path we started on before I took the little diversion to the reservoir. And this is where we're going to be heading up this way. And this is the walk I'm doing today. The Burway Loop from the National Trust website. So basically just following this stream up at the moment and up sort of into the head of Cardin Mill Valley. Yeah, starting to get steeper now. Um, I've still got that extra layer on of fleece um, under my uh, jacket. So I'm just gonna stop, take that off now um, because I've warmed up again from swimming and I'm gonna start sweating, so. You can definitely feel the burn in my calves now. Not too sure if I've taken the right turn. But I'm on a sort of grassy path. I'm hoping it's the right way. If not, I'll see where we end up. I think I've got a bit lost because I seem to be now following signs for the National Trust waterfall walk, which I don't think is what I'm doing, but you might see a nice waterfall, so <laughs> we'll just keep following it and see what happens. What a scratchy looking sheep. Half its coat's hanging off. I 
think I might be at the top of the waterfall. There it is, a waterfall. How cool is that? Hidden away. It's not very deep for a, a dip, but it is the summertime. Gorgeous. Something very, very soothing about the, uh, about the sound of water. It does however mean that I took a wrong turn somewhere <laughs> but I've ended up at the waterfall um, so I'm going to have a sandwich it's a good place to have a sandwich um, but I have no idea it looks, this, this path looks to be going back down and I wanted to go up so I'm not sure whether to follow the path back the way I came or to follow this back and look for a path possibly up there so I made an executive decision while I was having my sandwich and um, I was studying the map and I had a look on Google Maps um, and I've decided now seeing the waterfall I've turned back round and I'm going back up the route that I came to go down to the waterfall and then we're going to wang a left somewhere up here when we see a track because that's the way we need to go to get to Paul Bank and the trick point right so the, that's going that way and there's a left so we're going to take it that's what i've been looking for a left turn so we're going to go over there and hope it heads in the right direction let's fingers crossed well it looks like we should be rejoining i should be able to find where i went wrong so i've ended up on a road now um, the waterfall walk, if you're following that, there's post for it every two minutes, you cannot go wrong. The loop that I'm doing, you're lucky if I've seen one sign. Yay! That's the one we want! Burway loop! Burway loop! When Mr. Farmer, or Mrs. Farmer, want their sheep, and they're all over the shop, on these malls that literally spread for miles. I'm just thinking to myself how the how the hell they get them all back in and don't miss any. I think I might just be getting a glimpse now I've just come over the top of this hill at the top of the next hill over there. It looks like I can see a trig point. The great clear signage continues. <laughs> Still going up. I see you. I see you. Well, it's very windy, but we made it to the top. This is the highest point. 516 meters, just short of 1700 feet. This is the highest point on Long Mind. And you can't actually see much because it's very misty and very windy. I've had to just stop and uh, Put another layer on under my coat because it's uh, it's really got quite cold now. It's really windy, um, but this is why you don't want a thick coat for just one big thick coat for walking um, because you, you you can't you can't adjust it. You need to be able to take layers on off, um, which I have done a few times at different points of this walk. You see a big pile of stones like that you got to put one on yeah this latter part of the walk it's all been um, 
I mean, very beautiful, but very exposed, um, very windy, um, but well defined. I've been able to follow the track, um, but certainly had to bundle up. All I can see all around me is just green. It beats work any day. But I mean, uh, unfortunately, I got fired this week. I had a, a job in a bank. Um, a lady came in, asked to check her balance, so I've pushed her over. Didn't go down well. I think this bit of grass here is popular with the sheep because there is lots of poo. Baba black sheep. I'm on my way, walking quite slowly down these rocky ways, singing to myself like a lunatic. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Got a tree in Lord of the Rings. I do not want to come off this path because that is a big hill and a long way down. It's a really, really impressive bit this. I mean it's literally just like I'm I'm walking between almost carvings between the between the valleys really, just walking through the bottom of it. Well from how exposed it was at the top with the whipping, biting winds, it's actually quite sheltered down here now. Um, it's really quite nice, nice, nice and warm. And you've just got the, the sound of the water there running alongside you, just following the stream. So it's really quite relaxing. You can just, you know, just be alone with your thoughts, really. It's Just like that, I seem to have uh, rejoined civilization and some houses. But, uh, must be coming towards the end. I can now see the car park down at the bottom of the uh, hill there, which is where we started from, which is the National Trust car park. So we must be very close to the end now. So yeah, I am literally heading back down now towards the the car so thank you very much for coming with me i appreciate it hope you enjoyed it and i hope it's maybe uh, made you want to visit because it is a lovely lovely place to come beautiful scenery such a mix of things here um the swimming was lovely very cold but uh, definitely worth a visit and if you're a national trust member you can park for free so yeah thank you for coming please subscribe please give it a thumbs up please like it please watch some more i've got a few others and i'll see you next time bye bye bye